Good morning, Undefeated. What's going on? Kyle Henderson, Bama Football on YouTube. I appreciate you guys being here. Thank you very much for joining me on this fine Wednesday, April 24th. You saw that Reggie Bush has received back his Heisman Trophy, won that in 2005. You remember Reggie Bush. My goodness, one of the most electrifying, if not the most electrifying running back in all of college football that we've had since 2005. I mean, he was unbelievable. I mean, kind of rewind to the highlights. I remember watching hi Reggie Bush not only in high school, but then in college. So today he gets his uh, Heisman Trophy back. If you missed the story, it was taken away because of the NCAA rules at this time. As you know, the rules have changed now, and uh, he is being awarded back his trophy by the Heisman Trust. He will be allowed to participate um, at the Heisman Trophy ceremony, everything else, and uh, good for Reggie Bush. I like Reggie Bush, honestly. Never had a problem with him. Uh, good morning to you, Jeff, coming to us from Pell City. Good morning to us, Andy Janet. What's going on? Uh, Chase, what's going on? I appreciate you guys inside the comment box. Um, give me a uh, thumbs up. Uh, just inside the comment box. If you are a fan of Reggie Bush, I know he plays at USC, but I mean, I don't know. I felt like... Reggie Bush was kind of like part of the college football family. And I and like what he did on the field um, was impressive. So Reggie Bush um, getting his Heisman Trophy back. I appreciate you guys. What's up, JS Webb's Productions, man? Thanks for being here this morning right here on Bama Football on YouTube. All right. <clears throat> I wanted to talk about a couple topics today uh, on the show. We got the CBS football released they're way too early college football rankings. Going to run through those, and I want to get your take on that. Uh, call online is, of course, open 205-850-1994. Um, winners in the transfer portal thus far. I know the transfer portal is open for a little bit more, a um, couple more days, rather. And I think Alabama, so far, is the winner in the transfer portal. Um, not only in this first stage, but you think about the players that Coach Kalen Nabor brought over. It's a pretty good unit from the transfer portal perspective for Alabama. <clears throat> so the college football playoff rankings college football way too early uh, rankings put out by cbs that was just recently what's going on the i see you inside the comment box <clears throat> and i want to get your take on this so undefeated good morning to you i appreciate you being here can you list your one through five your college football one through five that's all i'm asking you and then i'm going to read through cbs's way too early college football rankings okay i know it's April 24th. You got the NFL draft, which starts, I believe, tomorrow. Uh, we're going to talk about that as well. But just right now, off the basis of what you know, and here are the rankings from CBS football. They have um, Ohio State coming back. And you know that Ohio State has went all in in the transfer portal as well. I think they're kind of just trying to buy that football team. You look at the prospects they have added. Ryan Day trying to, um, you know, win a national championship. And, uh, you know, I think with Michigan beating them last year, you know, like all eyes are on him, especially if you're an Ohio State fan. You're like, win. You got to win the big one. What's up, DW? I see you inside the comment box. So CBS has Ohio State. Number two, they have Georgia. Number three, they have Texas. Number four, they have Oregon. And number five, they have Alabama. And number six, they have Ole Miss. And then number seven, uh, the returning champs in Michigan under a new head football coach. So I think when you start at the top, you look to Ohio State. And then you have Georgia. And I think with Georgia, I mean, my goodness. This program is, I mean, they're here. And what they've been able to do under Kirby Smart has been really impressive. Returning their quarterback is going to make them ultra dangerous, right? And I see you guys listing your uh, top, um, you know, top five inside the comment box. And I think when you have Georgia, and I was also looking at this, Missouri is also on the schedule as well. So Alabama this season plays Georgia. They play Missouri. Um, you know, it's a loaded schedule for the Alabama Crimson Tide. We'll talk about their schedule another time as well. Georgia, rightfully so. If anything, I kind of feel that Georgia should be the number one team. And kind of in this preseason, put the target on their back. Thank you. See, B Wood, I like this. I honestly like this setup right here. Okay, this would, this is, this is probably. I would probably put Texas number two, um, but Georgia, Ohio State, Texas, Bama, then Oregon. I really like this. I would probably switch this up. I'd go Georgia, then Texas, then Ohio State. Bama, then Oregon. I really like uh, the quarterback who's transferred. I don't really understand why. Well, maybe I do. I mean, maybe he wants to play for Dan Lenny, but Dylan Gabriel, I thought is a baller, you know, and I thought he has some really good setup with uh, Oklahoma and what they have returning. Thanks, B. Wood. I appreciate it. Um, so I don't know. I think Georgia, with everything that they have coming back, they should be number one. Yeah, Dixon, I see you inside the comment box saying, uh, you know, congratulations to Reggie Bush. I talked about that just a few seconds ago. It's amazing, you know, it's taking that long for him to get back the trophy. But rightfully, he deserves it. 
And I was asking you at the beginning of the show, like he was the most dangerous running back in college football. It was crazy what he would do. I was kind of rewinding. I know it was against Fresno State, but like some of the plays that he had in that game were like crazy. You look at the games he had against like Notre Dame. It was unbelievable. And that translated a little bit to the NFL. But um, one of my favorite college football players of all time, certainly Reggie Bush. I like Reggie Bush, too. I, you know, I know he's kind of gone into, you know, sports broadcasting. I think he's good. I like Reggie Bush. Happy for him. Happy to see it. But I think when you talk way too early college football rankings, um, George has got to be there. And I love it. Kind of put the pressure on them. And what Alabama, outside of that, what, what did they have going into that game against the SEC championship? They had won, what, 29 games in a row? They lose to Coach Saban and the Alabama Crimson Tide, but he's got every, you know, he's got a lot of components coming back. And I'm assuming that they're undefeated coming into that week four matchup against Alabama. I'm assuming that Alabama's undefeated going into that matchup as well. I'm assuming that that is the college football game day um, selection. I'm assuming that Coach Saban picks the Alabama Crimson Tide uh, when he's an analyst for that game, right? I did see that too. Um, Jaden Rashada was visiting um, Georgia, right? Yeah, I saw that. That's interesting. I had the Arizona State quarterback. CBS had them listed as a loser in the transfer portal. And you're talking about Arizona State. And the interesting thing as well is that Ed Woods uh, is a transfer portal target for the Alabama Crimson Tide. He is a defensive back from Arizona State. They also listed the transfer portal losers as Colorado. And every single time you get an alert, you know, with this transfer portal, it's like a, a, a guy from Colorado is leaving. And another guy is coming in. I don't think that you can sustain. What's up, Cat Pool? Morning, man. What's up? Appreciate you. I love that dog, Schnauzer. Been a member right here uh, for three months right here on Bama Football on YouTube. I appreciate you being here. I don't think that you can build a team out of the college football transfer portal. We talked a lot, a little bit about that yesterday. I think you can fix, uh, you know, areas on your team, but I don't think you can build a whole team from the transfer portal, a quality team. You lack cohesiveness, right? You like, you lack that, that team mantra. It takes a while to build that. I love the fact that you really haven't had any players from Alabama hit the transfer portal. I know yesterday you had Curtis Perry and best of luck to him. But other than that, there hasn't been any like shockers leaving. And I think the reason is they've bought into coach Kalen DeBoer. They've bought into the team. They've bought into what they have coming back. Help me out undefeated. Right now, Alabama has two transfer portal additions, right? And I, in my opinion, the biggest transfer portal additions in all of college football, Caden Proctor coming back. And people can say whatever they want about Caden Proctor. Even Alabama fans, they can be like, eh, he wasn't that good. Yes, this guy is a future NFL first round guy. He was a freshman last year. He played up at times for sure. He played down at times for sure. He was inconsistent. But who else would not would turn their heads at a six foot seven, three, what is he now? Is he 350 pounds? I saw him at the Hey Coach. He looked like he was 350. He looked like he had lost some weight. I think with more development, Caden Proctor is going to be that guy. Anybody would have wanted him, anybody in the country, for him to come back to Alabama, gigantic. Bigger than we're giving it credit for, right? And then the second edition is, let, let's be honest, okay? And Connor Talty, man, I have nothing against you. And I have nothing against the secondary or the special teams, but Alabama did not have a kicker. Once Will Riker left, you did you had a of course you had some kickers on the roster, but you didn't have a kicker that was ready to contribute at this level the way that they needed to. The biggest pickup in the transfer portal as of this point in time is one million percent Graham Nicholson. In terms of being most impactful, Alabama didn't have a kicker. They really didn't. JS, man, appreciate you becoming a uh, member right here. Could everybody in the undefeated please welcome JS Webb? Appreciate you, man. Thank you very much. You literally did not have a kicker. You didn't. I, you had Connor Talty coming back. We have zero experience. And you get the kicker who won the Luke Groza Award 
my goodness right that's the best kicker there's no other bet like th that's the best kicker in college football that was the guy that we were mad at because he beat out will Riker. will Riker was the all-time leading scorer in college football history right and you're right jermaine i have been talking about a kicker for months i knew it if you've been following me i've been like look because like let's let's be honest every other unit we're going to talk about the defense here in a little bit is solid is good you want to talk about the wide receivers yeah we ranked them as a seven yesterday the running backs we know are elite quarterbacks are good right more than good but like you go to the kicker no you have a great punter now what you have and people we do not talk about special teams enough right you kind of like take it for granted have you ever had a bad field goal kicker you guys know that alabama has had some bad field goal kickers or, or average average isn't going to cut it you need a high quality kicker this this addition right here monstrous and you look at the other transfers that alabama has added before this portal window right big ad with uh getting jeremy bernard kids obviously a baller we saw him in a day Parker Brailsford is going to compete for that center spot. I asked a poll today. Who do you think is going to start at center? Parker Brailsford or James Brockemeyer? What do you guys think? Undefeated. Is that? I still think it'll be a position battle, but I'm so glad to see James. Bro That's probably one of the biggest storylines out of spring football was the fact that James Brockemeyer had this massive breakthrough. Even got, we even had an opportunity to talk to him. Other additions, you had um, Austin Mack come in when Julian Sane left. You had Josh Cuevas at tight end. But another big transfer portal addition was Keon Sapp. Keon Sapp, think about him. Keon Sapp being added to an area that you certainly needed. And I still feel that Alabama needs to add somebody to the secondary. But think about these three transfers in, okay? If you're if every program is judged by the prospects that they brought in, it look Ole Miss brought in some ballers. Ohio State brought in some ballers for sure. But Alabama, I would say their top three are Caden Proctor, Graham Nicholson, and Keon Sapp. All guys who will start this year for Alabama and their defense. Appreciate you guys being here right here on Bama Football on YouTube. Uh, please leave me inside leave a comment inside the comment box and um you know i'll uh, get to you uh, on the flip side i appreciate you guys being here a bama football on youtube